About a year ago, Chris asked for a meeting and we met in a lobby of a nearby building and it was Chris and Tom and I and he announced his plans to want to be a full-time a full cartoonist and he wanted to step aside and have me be publisher as well as our creative director become the executive editor. I was shocked, I did not see it coming and I wouldn't talk about it for about six months and then I understood why he wanted to do it. I mean, Drawn Quarterly is all about putting the cartoonist first, about believing in comics as an art form. And one of the reasons why we are Drawn Quarterly is because we've been helmed by Chris, who's a cartoonist who has the eye, unlike other comic book companies who are run by fans, Chris is a cartoonist and a fan. So once I started thinking about it as like, not just, oh, this is so daunting, I can't do this, you know, I can't take over for Chris, I switched my point of view and I said, Chris needs to become a cartoonist, Chris needs to work on his art, Chris wants to do books and comics and I can't stay in the way of that. And as his friend for the past 13 years, I had to let him pursue his art. Like there was, there was no question about it, that's exactly what I had to do. Well, right now my goal, you know, for taking over for such a beloved man for, who's run the company for 25 years, I don't want to change things, I don't really have that many ideas that are going to shake things up. I just want to maintain his quality and his sincerity and his just level of keeping everything at a very high quality. Chris has a trust with his authors and we have a trust with our readers who understand when they're buying a Drawn and Quarterly book, they're buying a certain level of quality and commitment to the art form. And taking over for Chris is all about maintaining that trust with our authors, the cartoonists, and with the readers.